All right. Now, the question about this is, do I have to go up above? The water's dangerous. If you go too far in the water, there's monsters in the water, kind of like flesh-eating parasites that'll consume you. I'm pretty sure it's on, up on a hill here. So I gotta climb up on the other side. Going in the water also turned off my lantern because it got wet. Oh, I'm out of breath. I have you now. My character is soaked. You can see it at the bottom. I have an enchanted weapon with holy, and that other one means that he's doused in water. So a lightning attacks, I think, are more effective against me right now. Uh, Oh wow, did there we go. Beware the water's edge, Master. Monsters lurk within the depths. Armed bandits arisen. Ah. Oh, I missed. Running away. Oh. I used the wrong ability there. <laughs> I did it again. And I died. Oh my god. God dang. Even at this level, I'm dying to bandits. Waste time. Ask for it. This is like a revival fairy or whatever. That was more of me being cocky and forgetting that I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot of defenses. Strength in numbers arisen. Leave it to me. Wake stones are kind of hard to come by. It's not too bad. You can purchase pieces of one as long as you pick it up regularly. I'll take that. Alright, somewhere right in here. Yeah, there's a ledge here. I don't think I can get back up. But, I don't need to. I'm gonna teleport down here anyway. Looking for the quest that's down here. Right there. Armed bandits arisen. I'm looking for a fight, have you? Good idea to take out archers first, if you can. They're annoying. They hurt a lot. Ow, jeez. Like that. There's another one hiding somewhere. There he is. Refreshment is 
taken over. They are left exposed after a grand strike. <coughs> My throat got all itchy. Go figure out and I start recording. I have to cough. Another Cyclops. This one's got a fiery club. Ooh, and he's armored. And he's got friends. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to go that way. Right now, I'm just relying on my pawn to take care of the main guys while I take off all these annoyances on the side. Kind of hard to locate them in the dark. Okay. I'm riding it. <laughs> I think I can take his helmet off if I climb up there. I've never done it before, but I'm pretty sure you can go up there and grab it. Wow, she's been grabbed. So, a couple recommendations if you stayed with the video this long and you want to play this game, I do have a couple recommendations to make. One is don't attack everything you see immediately. Some of it's not, even though this is a bandit and a bandit's hideout, they're friendly. Um, I've made that mistake on a couple of cases. <laughs> uh, two is when you set your... Um, when you create your pawn, do it correctly. I didn't do it correctly when I did it, but um, where is this located? You can set kind of like their, the, uh, oh darn, and see it's changed. So you can set kind of their personality for your, uh, for your character. Right now she's got her inclination as primarily a guardian, secondary is a scather. Um, and basically, each of these little inclinations dictates what they do in battle. And you'd think, for being like a tank, setting her as a guardian is what you want, but it's not. A guardian means that she will only attack an enemy if it attacks me. So she'll constantly like protect my character, but she won't engage the enemy. And right now, it's like really affecting her combat, so I want to change her to... I forget what it is, but there's one where they attack the strongest enemy. That is her primary, because I want her to go fight the big ogre, <laughs> basically. So, that's an, it's really important, the inclinations. I think the best thing for a tank is you want them to attack the strongest enemy first, and their second inclination to be attack a... Um, attack like the weakest enemy second. So they're always attacking, basically. Um, they're always in the thick of it. I don't know why Guardian would ever be good. It doesn't sound good at all, because it basically causes the character not to attack unless you're actually under threat and the enemies are right on top of you. Uh, this one has Scather and Medicant, which I think it, Medicant as a secondary is really good. It means Initially, she'll attack the weaker enemies, and then her secondary condition is to heal the party. If you put Medicant on the first one, 
she will always heal the party even if they've only lost like a sliver of health so she's not going to do a lot of stuff i think there's a better one than this to where she'll buff the party more often um this is what i need mitigator is attack the strongest enemy and guardian isn't very good on this character either but um the way you change those you can change them if they get messed up and they do get messed up if you ever use the you can command the party around by telling them to go uh, come back to you and help you if you use the come back to you or help you too much it will actually change their attitude to be a guardian which I think is one of the worst things in the game so it's best not to even use those commands um, but yeah, there's a merchant in the encampment of the game, which is the second place you go to. He'll appear there in this area, the encampment. And he'll sell potions that you can change their inclination if they ever get mess messed up. And I'll have to do that myself. Um, oh, okay. Seems my lamp has run out of fuel. So, yeah, that's a big tip. I didn't realize that for a good portion of the early game, and it probably made the game a lot more difficult for me because my tank would never actually go up and fight the enemy. Like, she'd stand around me and do nothing. And that's because I thought, naturally, it's going to be a tank, so I want the Guardian. But that was not the case. Uh, as far as building towards certain classes, so you've seen, I showed off most of them, there's uh, three main classes, the fighter, the mage, the strider, so like warrior, wizard, rogue, and then there's like upgraded versions of those, and then there's like mixed classes of all of them. Thieves or no. We've not to gain from so all those combinations, there's like a mystic archer, um, there's an assassin, which is a strider plus a warrior, so it's like a more melee intensive strider, no bow. I think it's a really good one is the assassin. I haven't got an assassin yet. What am I doing? Oh right, I was going towards this thing. <laughs> I got distracted. So, I think the mage is pretty fun. I haven't really got to show it off, but it is one I'd recommend. It's interesting. But it is like a different way of playing the game, definitely. This looks like it's up there. So, I've got to climb up there somehow. I think I should... Go ahead and do this. The levitate is just so useful on these little parkour missions. I fear half a thief myself sauntering through this place. It appears to be a bandit hideout. I'm not sure how to get up here. I might have to do that thing again with the ice. Unless I can make... I think that's too high. Oh, wow, I almost fell off. <laughs> yeah, I believe I do. Maybe I can do it right here. I do wonder how other classes do these missions if they don't have these abilities. I still don't see it. Is it in here? 
Cool. The bandits right outside of this camp become hostile. Why have you come here? Human footprints. Come looking for a fight, huh? I don't know why he stood there and talked to us. He was hostile. The goblins of this forest have a taste for human flesh. Wolves are annoying. A little easier with a weapon. I have to like aim at him. You just chase him down and kill him. The wolves tend to keep their distance and uh, only attack you like in the back or in groups. picking up a lot of items because I've got so ma many saved up I don't need them like a lot of these cheaper items are just kind of a waste of weight uh, okay so I want the two that are inside this place it's gonna be these last two 